From Naughty Dog, please welcome the creative director of The Last of Us and the upcoming Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, Neil Druckmann. Hi. Uh, the Industry Icon Award, which I'm here to present tonight, was created to honor people whose contributions have left a lasting impression on the game industry. As a kid, I remember my brother bringing home a brand new computer game. We booted it up, and we were blown away by its graphic and sound. You controlled an animated character moving along in a beautifully rendered world. You picked up objects, talked to NPCs, and solved puzzles. Every facet of the game was utilized to tell a character-driven story in a way I've never seen before, and I instantly fell in love with it. That game was King's Quest, developed by Sierra. Growing up in Israel, I barely knew any English, but I'd worked through Sierra's catalog bit by bit, sitting there with a Hebrew English dictionary. I learned to read and write English just so I could play every King's Quest, every Space Quest, and when my parents went around, Leisure Suit Larry. With multiple highly successful franchises, Sierra was renowned for pushing the boundaries of writing, game design, animation, sound, music, and with the advent of CD-ROM, even acting. Today's gaming storytellers stand on Sierra's shoulders. Tonight, we're proud to honor two visionaries who entertained and inspired countless of players and developers. If you were to imagine the birth of personal computer games with graphics, you might picture a legion of undergraduates working in the basements of MIT or Stanford. But this fairy tale starts with a couple teenage sweethearts living on the outskirts of Los Angeles, California. In 1979, Ken Williams was working as a programmer and personal computers were slowly finding their way into American homes. That year, he introduced his wife, Roberta, to a text-based computer game. Inspired, she conceived her own game with a story and decided it needed pictures. Roberta convinced Ken to program the game, which they called Mystery House, the first graphical adventure game for PCs. What intrigued me was the fact that since I am a storyteller and I've always been a storyteller, was the fact that this was another dimension beyond uh, just a book or a movie, the fact that you could interact with a story. The couple's dream was to sell 10,000 copies so they could buy their own house in the woods, but not even they imagined the true potential of PC gaming. The independently published game proved a massive success. It was more than enough to buy their house, and it became the first building block in the company that would become known as Sierra. In less than a decade, the business created by Ken and Roberta exploded into a publicly traded company with over a thousand employees. They were collaborating with everyone, including Muppets creator Jim Henson. Story and character development were at the heart of Sierra Adventure Games. And the company continued to push technical innovations too, like voiceovers, real music, and more lifelike graphics. Sierra Games tackled all genres, like comedy with Space Quest, thriller with Gabriel Knight, role-playing adventures with Quest for Glory, and uh, other pursuits <laughs> with Leisure Suit Larry. It's a unique industry because it's the, it's the only one where you can make this much money, have so much fun, and uh, feel so good about what you're doing. I think it was around 1984, 1985, that I started working on King's Quest, which has sort of turned into, you know, a big hit. Oh, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Roberta continued creating and writing adventure games, most notably the blockbuster franchise King's Quest. And in a male-dominated industry, she provided one of the most influential female perspectives in gaming. Today, the industry has evolved, but Sierra remains the company that pioneered many of the technologies and storytelling techniques that are now industry standard. Some of today's greatest games are all built on a foundation birthed by gaming industry pioneers, Ken and Roberta Williams. I've got more success than I ever wanted or ever really needed. And from here, if I can just make uh, better games, make the home computer more productive and put a home computer in every home, then I'll have, I'll have done more than, than I ever wanted.
It is my honor to present. It is my honor to present the first Industry Icon Award to the founders of Sierra. Please help me welcome Ken and Roberta Williams. Thank you, everyone. Um, I didn't get to see the video at the beginning, so apologies if this is reruns, but um, uh, it was almost exactly, almost to the day, 35 years ago, that um, I was playing an adventure game that was all text on a uh, teletype machine. In those days, we had acoustic modems and 300 baud, which nobody here can relate to. But, um, you know, I, and Roberta saw me playing it and kind of took over the screen. And um, a few days later, she said, we got to go to dinner. And she took me to dinner and spent the evening uh, describing her vision for what a game could be. And at the time, I was working on a compiler. I had this big vision of being uh, the next Bill Gates, who um, wasn't Bill Gates in those days. But um, oh, OK, she wants to see the award. <laughs> but um, you know, she spent the evening kind of describing this murder mystery while people at other tables were looking at us like we were wacky. and. Um, and then uh, she said, why don't you build it instead of the compiler? And I did. And then suddenly the company kind of grew and grew and grew. And it's weird to think that um, that dinner was like in November of 79. And I think we released the product in like May of 80, which a lot of the developers here know is a fairly rapid schedule, <laughs> especially with uh, one programmer, one artist. And uh, that's about it. But anyway, uh, before I turn over to Roberta, I should thank, I guess, all the people of Sierra, all the fans. All the people that still remember us this many years later. And um, I don't know, we'll let her talk. Well, I broke it. Oh, oh I don't have any hands. OK, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm a shorty, you know. So uh, well, thank you, everybody, for coming and, and for the award from the, the, the Games Awards show. and. I'm, I'm just surprised I'm here and just can't believe it. If you guys can believe it, it's been 17 years for me since I've been out of business. And uh, time goes by fast, but I appreciate it so much, everybody coming and... <laughs> well, I appreciate you too. Thank you so much, and uh, sorry I don't have anything to show you. I don't have a game anymore, but although we do have, there is a new King's Quest coming, and uh, I've had an advanced look at it, and it looks awesome. I do want to play it very much, and uh, as such, um, I'd like to introduce the new designers, the designer and the producer for the game, um, and that would be Matt Corba and Lindsay Rostel from The Odd Gentlemen, who are the, gonna be the new designers, and that will be through Activision for the new King's Quest. <laughs> I have something to do first. Wow. Um, first of all, I just want to give a heartfelt thanks to Roberta and Ken uh, for everything that they've done for the gaming industry. I had the pleasure of showing Ken and Roberta the game a few weeks ago, and it is a moment that I will treasure forever. It was also extremely nerve-wracking. <laughs> if we were going to do this 
it was very important to us to get their blessing. When we set out to reimagine King's Quest, we wanted to hang on to everything that made the original game so special. The charm, the humor, the puzzles, and the sense of wonder. We wanted to make a King's Quest that if Roberta and Ken were still making adventure games, this is the one they would make in 2015. King's Quest is my favorite game series of all time. Thank you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scary task to take something so loved and make it new again. But I hope you'll be able to see the love we've been pouring into the game. With that, I am proud to be a part of Sierra and honored to introduce the new King's Quest. World premiere. So, you want to hear a story. It has been a long time, hasn't it? How about a tale you haven't heard before? One with luscious worlds of wonder, of treacherous traps, fantastical foes, and caverns that could kill. Once upon an astounding time, 